that Tatiana wrote this in workshop and there are wonderful uh, stories here and I'm so proud of her. Laura will be putting links in the chat so that you can uh, get access to her book and to everything else that you need to know about Tatiana. Um, I wanna go ahead and introduce you Tatiana. Tatiana is an author, podcaster and business owner. Um, she's the founder of Linz Advisors um, and she is much more than an accountant. I think she calls herself a visionary accountant. She's a numbers expert with more than 15 years of experience helping entrepreneurs and business owners become the boss of their bottom line. Tatiana is now committed to sharing her expertise with a broader audience to empower those overwhelmed and confused with running a business so they can make money doing what they love. Uh, she has a mini coaching program, Something That's Yours, her book, and she provides her audience with simple and actionable steps to own their numbers and be confident in their business decisions. Oh, and she has a podcast, Talk to Tatiana, which you can also listen to. So Tatiana, as we do in workshop, I would love for you to, before you read, share who is your audience and what is your core message for your book? Hey everybody, I'm super excited to be here. Um, so my core, my, audience is moms and creatives. In my experience, those are the two um, people who usually struggle with the basics of numbers, taxes, and get overwhelmed easily, get anxious about them. And that's why I wanted to create something that would allow people with passion really make that a business, a profitable business. Um, and the core message of the book is that Clarity and confidence in, in confidence in business um, depends on nailing your back office fundamentals. And by back office, I mean money, numbers, and taxes. Awesome. So what I'm going to ask you to do now is you're going to read a, your introduction and a story that I'm partial to. And then after that, we'll give uh, Tatiana some positive feedback and I will ask her a couple of questions. So everybody make sure you're muted and Tatiana, you are up. Okay, so that's the um, chapter from chapter one. Chapter one is called, Your Dream Awaits. Do you remember how you felt when you came up with your cool business idea? Where were you? On the couch? In the shower? Driving your kids to school? If you're like me and most of my clients, you probably wanted to pull over to the side of the road or step out of the shower and write down your thoughts immediately. Maybe you called your best friend or your spouse. Maybe you posted your idea on Facebook, so excited for immediate feedback. So thrilled to take the first step on your journey to becoming a business owner. And then the doubt set in. What if my brilliant idea isn't so brilliant? What if it's a terrible idea? What if I'm not cut out to pull it off? What if I fail? I want financial freedom, flexibility, family time, or personal interests, and confidence in tomorrow, but what if being my own boss will create the opposite of what I'm looking for? Do you wish there was a way to bulletproof your business idea? If you say yes, you're not alone. Unless you're a financial professional or an accountant, starting something new and unfamiliar takes a lot of guts and brings with it a lot of anxiety. To further develop your idea, the further you develop your idea, the more you think about it, and the more you discuss it with your friends and loved ones, the more overwhelmed and anxious you feel. And that nagging thought of, what if it doesn't work, just keeps popping into your head and doesn't leave you alone. I hear these concerns almost every day. Potential clients walk into my office and say they're looking for tax or accounting advice. But what I hear they really need is clarity and confidence in their business idea and in managing the back end of a business. Being an aspiring business owner can be scary. You feel like the world needs your idea, that you can quit your job and get more freedom or more time with your kids, but you cannot help thinking, what if my Aunt Susie was right? What if this won't work and I will lose everything I have? I can't afford for that to happen. No way. Clarity and confidence in your business idea depend on nailing your back office fundamentals. This means that when you have a good understanding of, of how to set up financial accounting, entity structuring, and tax matters right, 
And when you know how not to lose money on what is not your domain, such as the financial tax and accounting matters that come along with the business, you will no longer feel worried, anxious, and scared. It will take a bit of effort to figure out your back office, but you absolutely can do it. You just need a bit of help. And with every chapter of this book, you will have more confidence and clarity about what your next step should be. The truth is that this stuff is also scary, worrisome, and anxiety causing for existing business owners, not just for aspiring entrepreneurs like you. Lack of clarity and confidence creates that unsettling feeling that eats you up inside. Here's what I mean. I met Bobby on the plane from California back to New York for after an accounting conference I attended. I learned that he was in advertising. So you're a creative one, I said. What's your favorite thing about what you do? Hmm, Bobby started. I love helping clients develop their vision, create something unique to them create partnerships with celebrities and other brands to bring that vision to life. That's the reason I started this business. Interesting, and what do you struggle with the most in your business? The financial stuff, you know. When I talk to my accountants, I quickly lose my train of thought and attention because this stuff is foreign to me. But since I don't want to look like a fool, I just nod as a remedial move to seem that I get it all, but I often don't. Bobby closed his laptop and continued. To be honest, I never felt confident in any of this. And all that anxiety and worry started when the idea to launch my business first appeared in my head. I could never tell whether I should have an LLC or a corporation and why to choose one over the other. How do I set up for taxes? How do I know what's deductible? And how should I handle my bookkeeping? None of this was ever clear in my head and still isn't. It's so frustrating. Bobby shifted in his seat. As soon as Bobby said that out loud, I felt shame knowing that early on, I often did that to clients. I spoke a language they didn't understand and presumed they did. And I didn't provide that, that much needed reassurance that they could do it with my help. Reminiscing about those times, I remember how baffled I felt when it came to IT or creative and marketing areas of my business. Now I knew exactly how Bobby and some of my early clients felt. Yikes, I thought, that's a terrible experience, feeling unintelligent, anxious, and not confident enough in your own finances. Bobby felt this way after being in business for some time, and I can only imagine how he must have felt when he first started out. It must have been nerve wracking and anxiety causing, and it may have involved a good deal of fear of failing too. The deep unsettling fear of what if, that no matter how many times we start something new or how long we stay in business, keeps coming back to haunt us. Many people go to, to their day jobs and often dislike or out, outright hate what they do. Don't get me wrong, not everyone wants or needs to be an entrepreneur, but I'm willing to bet that a great number of you would want to be your own boss, have a flexible schedule, and enjoy a better life balance if you only knew that you wouldn't fail. You've got a lot at stake taking this huge leap. And if you're reading this book, listening to this book now, and if you feel this way in the right place, this book will walk you through a process to build a back office foundation, which is a powerful way to bulletproof your idea and secure your dream. This process will give you confidence and ensure that you will never have to ask yourself if you have what it takes to be an entrepreneur. But before you even get to that, it will also help you assess whether your plan is realistic and if it's not, what changes you can make so it is. A favorite movie of mine, Hidden Figures, is a true story of three African-American women who are math geniuses working at NASA during cold, the Cold War. They perform calculations to build space rockets and calculate trajectories for astronauts' missions. An important scene in the movie unfolds when Catherine Goebel, one of the main characters and a numbers genius at the Space Task Group, proposes the use of Euler's method to bring the space capsule back down. This was an unprecedented and risky mission because the life of John Glenn, the first American to ever orbit the earth was at stake. Goebel's colleagues deem the suggested me method to be ancient and are outright skeptical about her idea. But through her calculations, she shows them that it will work. And this is my point. Running the numbers is a critical step in any mission Doing it gives you clarity and confidence to move forward. 
When you have a business idea that you just can't get out of your head, it may indicate that you would enjoy calling the shots of your own life. It may give you the, a feeling that despite your confidence and presumed stability, you were born for something bigger and better. I'm not saying that now is definitely the right time to launch a business, but I am saying that now is the right time to dream bold. Hold on to this feeling and give yourself a chance to build the life you want. And now the story that's um, an, ex an exclusive story that's in the audiobook um, as well as here for you. When I was 17, our school had an exchange trip with a German school. I am from Belarus and Germany was about 20 hours away by bus. And we went, a bunch of us with a bunch of teachers, we went to the, to the German school and we stayed in the area of Bremen. If you ever heard about Bremen's musicians, that's where we were. On one of the days, the German school took us to a water park and it was the first time for me. Imagine a 17 year old kid at a water park. I've been on every slide multiple times. I flirted with a waiter. It was awesome. I had a blast. And then there was this swimming pool, huge swimming pool at, in, the, in the middle of the water park. And it had several diving boards. And I was scared because I didn't know whether I would die if I die, dove in, but at the same time, I didn't want to miss a chance. I didn't know if I was going to be at a water park again. So I went up the stairs and I went to the top diving board, a 33 foot board. I waited in line until people before me um, jumped, dove, and then I came to the edge of the board. I was standing there looking down and it was really, really high. I got scared and I turned back, but then I saw that there were people back there waiting for me. And these people were looking at me and some of them were from the same school. And I thought, if I turn back now, everybody's gonna laugh at me. So I turned back down to the, to, the, to the edge of the board and there I was standing at the edge of this board, wiggling my toes. Suddenly I remembered in school, my math teacher always said, math will one day save your life. So I started thinking, if someone built this board right here, at this height, with this swimming pool, that means someone already ran the numbers. Someone did the math, right? So I shouldn't, I wouldn't die necessarily, right? So I gathered up my strength, I gathered up my, my courage and I jumped. I felt free, but I also felt happy. And starting a business can sometimes feel like you're standing at the edge of that board, not knowing whether the pool is safe enough to jump. And running the numbers will help you know for sure. The problem is that there's nobody else to run the numbers. There's nobody else to do the math. It's just you. And it's okay to walk away from an opportunity knowing for a fact that it's safe enough to jump. Yay! Yay! Good job, Tatiana. How was that for you? It was good. <laughs> good. I'm so proud of you and I'm so glad you did the diving board story. So I just have a few little questions for you. Um, again, uh, Laura, if you can put a link to Tatiana's book in the chat um, and her podcast. I want to just ask you a couple of questions and I would encourage everybody here if you could share something positive in the chat and maybe something that resonated with you, something that you liked. Um, I, we've already talked about where you are in the publishing process. It's March 16th, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm wondering how do you hope you can connect with readers after reading your book? So how, what are you hoping, you, hoping to have in terms of connecting with folks? Conversations, events, like what, what are you hoping for will happen? Um, so, uh, I'm hoping that, um, I'm hoping to create a movement. Um, this book came as a result of seeing people struggle with the same thing, having the same questions 
And I only, because if there is a movement, when there is a movement, it will help not only the accountants because we get to do the fun work, but it also actually helps people because they get to save money, save the anxiety and not worry about all the things that they worry about, actually have a direction, have a roadmap. So I hope to connect through uh, different things, programs, podcasts. Um, podcast was specifically to inspire people by sharing stories of entrepreneurs who um, have had, every entrepreneur has had their own path, their own journey. And by sharing their stories, I want to inspire others who maybe have two little kids who are um, and who are living in a Groundhog Day every day, give them hope that somehow um, it will work out, that there is a way to make money with passion. So through the podcast, through my um, uh, Facebook group, but Facebook can pull the plug at any point. So you really, <laughs> really um, kind of count on that, but um, podcast programs um, and a lot of the different um, interviews that I do, a book experience also. Every book, every physical book has a little packet at the end. Um, and this packet basically has a code unique for every book um, that gives you access to the book experience. And the book experience gives you extra content um, to enhance the every chapter, but also a story, an interview with uh, someone who's already gone through um, this journey, this starting a business journey kind of, and have learned some lessons and are sharing their insights. Well, I'm so proud of you. I just have to add, uh, by the way, Laura, will keep, get the chat for you. So don't worry about that, but definitely look through that when we're done. I just want to know, how does it feel? How does it feel now? This is yours. Tell, tell us how it feels to be an author that's about to be published. Well, it feels like I'm already published because I have this book in my hand. So, <laughs> so it feels great. I'm happy that I insisted on the things that were important for me. I knew that I wanted a hardcover book and this is just an amazing. I love this book. It's just, it's such a pleasure to hold and to, to open and to like keep close to your heart. And um, um, it's just, I felt that this was right for me. The publisher recommended something else um, and I insisted on it and I'm happy that I did because ultimately it's my book. Well, the last thing I'll say is, do you have anything that you could share with what you feel is the power of story now that you've been through workshop and you've edited a million times, what is the power of story for you? Stories are ways to connect to people and um, a couple of years ago, I um, uh, ran two classes, tax classes at Hunter College, my alma mater. Um, and interestingly enough, people were, didn't remember the tax concept. They remembered my client stories. <laughs> for me, client stories and, um, sto well, for me, it's client stories because that's where most of the stories come from. But for me, story connects to the reader. It makes the concept valid. It actually creates a memory in their brain and a connection to me that I understand them, I get them and I can help them get to where they want to be. Amazing. Tatiana, thank you so much. Let's show some more love for Tatiana. Yay. Thanks guys. Thank you. You can exhale now.